Hi, it's Mike from Production Expert, and in this video, we're going to take a look at a brand new product, Reverberate Immersive 2 from Acon Digital. Now, this effectively is an immersive version of their Reverberate 2 with the new Vivid Hall algorithm. So let's take a quick look around the user interface. Uh, we've got in this section here, the different levels for the dry level, reverb level, and also early reflections. So we've got faders that we can adjust. We can in fact lock the faders between dry and reverb, but notice we can't lock the reverb and the early reflections together. Down here, we've got buttons which enable it. So in this particular case, I'm in a send return loop, so I don't want any direct feed. So there's this simple enable, disable, which you've got in fact for each of the feeds. So you could choose to turn off the early reflections. And then here we've got some pan options. So if I click on the reverb pan, you can see here that we've got, in this case, a 5.1 mix and get hold of this and move it around the image. And all of that is fully automatable. So if we just turn that back off, on this right hand side, we've got a decay editor, so we can control how the reverb decays away. So if we want to sort of dry it up around the sort of 250 mark, then we can just dip that down. There's a series of uh, high pass and low pass filters. And then this bottom section similarly laid out, we've got an equalizer both on the way in to the reverb, the input equalizer, and on the way out with the output equalizer. And again, we've got this same set of controls. We can turn on low cut filters, uh, shelving, we can do a parametric EQ. All of those options are available from these very simple clear buttons. So down here, we've got the usual sort of controls you would expect, reverb time, room size, pre-delay, spread. This one I really like. It spreads the image out, dispersion, swirl. And you'll see that you've got all these nice uh, tool tips come up, which really give you an indication of exactly what each control does. So how does it sound? Now, obviously, this is a 5.1 session, a 5.1 mix and uh, we're not in a position to put that 5.1 mix out on this video. So what you're listening to is a down mix of the 5.1, but we will be putting some files in the article with some 5.1 examples. So let's take a listen. So again, yeah, we can adjust the reverb, dry it up, the early reflections, One of the things I like to do with reverb is just hit the stop button and hear how the reverb decays away. And I have to say, uh, that's sounding pretty good to me. So again, we can adjust the way that the decay works against frequency. And we can again adjust the EQ on the way in. Very nice. In this particular project, I've got two instances. I've got an instance handling reverb at a conventional send and return for some of the solo instruments, but I've also got an instance of a 5-1 reverb in my strings sub, because obviously there's a significant string section. This was recorded in the round and delivered as an album in 5-1. And so in this case here, We've got an inline instance of the reverb, so I have enabled here the dry signal. This is now impacting purely on the string sound. If we just put this into bypass, you can hear there's no reverb. So now we've got the reverb. Nice. 
So that's enabling me just to set back the sound of the strings instruments because some of them are relatively close mic'd and this enables me to just get that sound right. If you want to know more about how what we think about the Acon Digital Reverberate Immersive 2, then do pop over to the main article on the Production Expert website. And I'll see you again soon.